So first job with any new 125, unless you're lucky enough to have a full license, is to fit L-plates. Now, um, the GT here, it's a bit awkward getting the L-plates on in terms of positioning, um, and I'll show you what I mean just now. So this is the full size L-plate. This is obviously a one for the back, but just to show as an example, this is a hard one. Um, it doesn't really sit properly there because it's going to go over the top and you can't sit it further down really because of the um, the buttons that hold the bolts that hold the windscreen on. So we're going to have to cut it. Now I know you shouldn't technically reduce the size of an L-plate. That's not something you should do. But I would think the police in this country have got better things to do than go around measuring the size of people's L-plates. So I've cut the one down that's going to stick on the front and basically it's just going to go like that. I think that looks okay, it's bright and clear. I mean, at the end of the day, if I get stopped by an official police officer with his measuring tape, so be it. Now, on the rear, take you around here. This is the rear of the bike. Now, the number plate's actually quite low on this bike. So, what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is drill a couple of holes in here and just fit this underneath like that. There's not really any other choice. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to do. Put that on, drill a couple of holes through here and attach it and that should be okay. And stick the front one on and I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. So there are actually a lot of pre-drilled holes on the back of this number plate holder. Unfortunately, of course, none of them match up with the pre-drilled holes on the number plate. So we can use these push these um, bolts through and I'll just drill a couple of holes on the number plate that match up with the locations. Right, so a couple of new holes drilled, put the number plate back on and that'll be that. It doesn't actually hang down as low as I thought it was going to, so not too bad. That'll do anyway. One of these days I'll do the test and get rid of these things, but until then, the L plates it is. Right, so that's number plate on, front and rear, which means I am legally allowed to ride on the roads of the UK with a provisional license and a CBT. Happy days.